Hello! Thanks for tuning in. You've done the right thing by clicking on this video. In today's episode, we're going to be exploring five products you should never ever use on your face. If this sounds like something that might interest you, then you definitely want to watch to the end. My name is Tracy and I reveal top beauty secrets that would help solve your beauty needs and boost your self-confidence because over here we don't pump off loss, we eliminate it and I am here to help you with that elimination process. Yes, you saw it right, bar soaps. They're actually not good. One of the active ingredients found in bar soap is SLS. Sodium lauryl sulfate, also called as SLS, is actually the substance that makes bar soaps to lather. It's found in most of your powder detergents, your shampoos, your face washes, and your bar soaps. The lathering effect of bar soaps is actually very drying to your skin. Your face is very sensitive. It's not like any other part of your body. So I would suggest that you feel free to use your bar soaps on your body, but not on your face. Another thing you should never use on your face is alcohol. Alcohol is one of the active ingredients found in most face washes and tuners. Now the thing about alcohol, it gives you that feeling like, oh my face is clean, the oil is out. But that is just temporal. It gets rid of oil from your face and it does that excessively. Now I'm not saying that you should allow the oil in your face to sit on there, but you might think that alcohol as an active ingredient in your face wash or your tuners have gotten rid of that excess oil from your skin. But what it actually does is it actually makes your skin to produce more oil. So if you have oily skin like me, I would suggest you shouldn't use it. I mean, not even if you have oily skin like me, whether your skin is oily, dry, combination, don't use alcohol at all. So the next time you go to your beauty store to get a face wash or a tuner, make sure it's not having alcohol as one of the active ingredients. The next beauty product that you should never ever use on your face is this loafer or your sponge. This is 2021, not 1921. Why on earth would you use this on your face? Don't ever think that your hands cannot do the job of cleaning your face properly. People always use this as an excuse to scrub their skin and exfoliate their skin and make sure that all the dirt is scrubbed out of their skin. But you know that this will not just make your skin to break out, but it's also going to make your skin look bumpy. So you actually look in the mirror and you see you know, those tiny little bumps all over your face. It's actually because you're scrubbing way too much or exfoliating with the wrong thing. Your skin is not as dirty as you think it is, okay? And even if your skin is as dirty as you might think it is, this is definitely not the solution. Don't ever use your body sponge on your face. In fact, don't even have a separate loafer or sponge for your face. No. So no matter how dirty you think your face is and you need to thoroughly clean it, I don't think this is the best. You're only causing more harm than good. This will not only make your skin very sensitive but also give you a bumpy looking skin. You know like when you look in the mirror and you find those annoying little tiny bumps? That's right. I believe you're going to push this aside and use your hands to wash your face. As long as you're using the right product for your face, the right face wash, you actually don't need this. What are your hands for? Get your hands busy. Rub your face, clean it, rinse it off, and you look good. You can use it on your body, but not on your face. So before I move over to the last on my list, I want you to go on the comment section and type beneficial if you find this interesting. The last on my list is this tube over here, toothpaste. With the excuse that toothpaste will reduce inflammation and take away that pimple and like fight it and get rid of it, a lot of people would use this on their face, on the acne, on that eczema, redness. But do you know toothpaste is actually not good for your skin? The toothpaste contains calcium carbonate and also SLS. Now remember what I told you about sodium lauryl sulfate and how 
it is the reason why your vasos let up. That's also the same thing. SLS, also called a sodium lauryl sulfate, is also the reason why your toothpaste brings out that foam. And it's actually very drying to your skin. So the next time you see your toothpaste, feel free to use it on your tooth to wash your mouth, but please, never use it on your face. Another reason why you should stop using toothpaste on your face is because it will cause more redness, it will lead to skin imbalance and even result in hyperpigmentation. Click on the comment section below and tell me which of this product that I've listed you have decided to stop using. Don't forget to give this video a like. If you'd like to see more interesting content like this, then subscribe. Click on the notification icon so you'll be the first to get notified each time I upload a new video. I'll see you in my next video.